Stolas. Stella. Witch. Oh. Fuck it! Imp! Sucker! Why did you insist on making me here? Ahem, we wanted to properly discuss the terms of this divorce. I feel my darling sister deserves a bit more compensation. After all, you did cheat on the poor thing. Surely you owe. And Drielfus, cheating implies there was a betrayal. This woman never gave two shits about me or our very much arranged marriage. As far as I'm concerned, this divorce is far overdue. Up yours! Stella, for fuck's sake, stop making this harder to bullshit. <laughs> Dear, this is worrisome. Oh, shit, stole this. It's really not a good time, buddy. I'm sorry it's a bad time yet again, Blitzy, but I'm... I seem to have found myself in a bit of a sitch. I'm tied on the back of a horse at the moment. <laughs> lucky bitch. Um, well, no, rather unlucky. I seem to have been stolen by that little cowboy friend of yours. Oh, uh, which one? How many cowboys do you know? What does he look like, Your Highness? Sexy? That's Striker, sir! Oh, for fuck's sake, can't you just get away? Aren't you powerful? I believe he has me bound with blessed rope, which limits my ability to free myself, I'm afraid. So, I think you should come save me. Ah, oh, shit. Stolas, I can't today. All right, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm literally on my way to take Luna in for her very important Helby's S-H-O-T. It takes years to book an appointment at this place. It took five for me to get this one, so, you know, and, and she's been doing a lot of field work, so, you know, she needs it. Oh, ha, ha. Well, I do agree. That is very important. But I... You shut up already. I can hear you, by the way. Don't worry about your lanky birdie. He's in good hands. <laughs> oh, shit. Am I in danger right now? God damn it. Let me and Moxie handle this one. Okay, are you too sure that you got this alone? We can do it, sir. Together, we are a lethal combo. And we both have a score to settle with that dickhead. All right, well, hurry. Solo sounds like he might be a real shit this time. And knowing that guy's aesthetic, my money's that he's in wrath. Now get your asses down there and look for some cowboy crap or something. Come on, Looney. Come on, this will be over lickety split, all right? Christ on a stick of all the days for him to get his stupid feathered ass kidnapped. I have waited five fucking years for this appointment. Fuck me in my little red hole. All right, the fuck you looking at? Hey, it, uh, it's, I'm here for that uh, S-H-O-T for my knee <laughs> to knee. <laughs> the what? Ugh, the B-U-L-L shit that my daughter has to get every year that you M-O-T-H-E-R Fuckers only allow us to schedule every five years. How the fuck you fuck up that bad anyway, titty haver? Oh, I can't spell. I can't read either. The hell bees shot, you fucking really can't say that word anymore. The appointment is under blitz. Um, I don't see any blitz on the list. With an O. It's silent, you fucking... Oh, an O. Right here, yep, yep, Blitzo, Blitzo. Yes, well, we will be ready for her in just a bit. Please take a seat, Mr. O. Perf. Oh, don't worry, Looney. It's okay, it's just one little prick. You won't feel it. Ew, don't say that. It sounds vulgar. Excuse me? Pervert. Shooting, darn tootin' his 
name is Striker. Gonna bring that bird back to his lair. With his magic rope and his western flame. He's very good at causing pain. And he loves to ride on the choo-choo. Pretty dealing. Prince Stealing. He's a villain, Striker. He's fast and strong and tall and mean. The foulest imp you've ever seen He'd break your bones to hear him crunch He likes to eat that for lunch He's Striker Oh yeah, yeah, yeah He's Striker He's Striker He's Shut the fuck up! I'm trying to do my fucking job! You coming in here singing about me for the millionth fucking time! Leave me the hell alone, you freaks! How does one get their own theme song? So, yeah, nice weather we're having, huh? Look, Mommy! They let fire toads in here! The fuck did you just call me? It's not polite to call them that to their face, honey. Wait until we're in the car. You got a problem with me? <gasps> there is a child present, you filthy Rathian! Oh, I am not from Rath, bitch. Also, my kid's here, too, and I don't think she would appreciate you calling her father... things! Is there any way we can reschedule for a time when less of the unemployed rabble are out? Oh, please. I bet the hardest work you've ever done is convincing your husband that little shit's his. Oh, yeah? And what do you do that's so important? Me? Oh, <laughs> I kill people. How does a two-for-one special sound, whore? Mr. Owl, the doc will see your hound now. I'll grab the gas, Millie. Go and see if anyone's seen Stryker anywhere. Hey, queer boy! You stealing my hat? What? Same hat! Oh, sorry, my wife just put this hat on my head. You know, because it was hot outside. Same hat. <sighs> so we're doing this, huh? Howdy, boy! Y'all seen this motherfucker riding around here? He's jacking. No! No, no, singing! Just a yes or no, please. Yeah, he lives out by the bad man lands in the old train tunnel. Near the mine shafts. Very outlaw aesthetic. You can't miss it. Yeah. Thank you kindly. Come on, Mox, we gotta lead! So, my wife paid you for this, hmm? Wouldn't a holy bullet have sufficed? Or could you not afford those? I was paid to give you the real royal treatment. Your wife must really hate you. <laughs> you have no idea. So, train tracks? Really? Seems a bit cliché, doesn't it? It's a classic. Is the giant statue of yourself also a classic, or...? Are you seriously judging me right now? I'm just impressed you seem to want to suck your own dick this badly. Look, not every ring is some fancy-ass city with some fancy-ass mansion that only fancy-ass royals get to live in. Some of us have hard lives to live, and some of us have everything we care about taken away by fuckers like you. I have no... Ah! <laughs> ah! You don't get to talk over me. I don't have to listen to your bullshit. All oh! the royals ever do is try to talk over us. <laughs> don't bother trying your little eye trick on me. Those ropes ain't gonna let you do anything. Got something to say about that? Your Highness. Uh, well, you seem to be forgetting. You are working for a royal right now. <laughs> Blitz handles me rougher than that in bed. Nice try. Blitzy's knife is bigger and hits so much deeper. Being a smart ass, hmm? Because once I split your neck open and let you choke on your own blue blood, you won't be worth any more than the tombstone you'll be buried under. Blitzy says far dirtier things to me with much sharper objects at my throat.
Welcome, Bingo. And this must be Tuna. Luna, yeah, and you can hurry up, please. She's a fan of shots, so let's try and make this quick for all of our sakes. Oh, come now. It can't be that bad. I see hellhounds every day, and there hasn't been one that has caused any issue. <laughs> Yep, right there. Told you, dipshit. So, earlier, that assassin, was that you? Mm, guilty, yes, it was. You silly minx, you. <laughs> Though, you know, if your husband dies, it won't turn out well for you. He'll be dead! Why wouldn't it? Because, my dear sister, you've already produced an heir. When he dies, his duties, his possessions, his allegiance, it will all pass to Via. So, if you kill him, you would... Hmm? Laugh? <laughs> no, you stupid cow! You get nothing! Oh, you're so lucky you're attractive. Oh, well, what do you propose we do? He won't leave me anything willingly. He hates me almost as much as I hate him. Hmm, well, this kind of situation is extremely unique. A Goetia has never behaved like this before. But with him alive, we have options. Opportunities. Eternity is a long time, my dear. I say we bide our time and wait for the chance to gain the upper hand. Oh, but I want him dead so badly! And he will be in time, my fiery vixen. But patience first. Now, cool off your mangy stray. Oh. Well, this has been fun. But every good thing has to come to an end. Shame you won't see your kid again. Don't you dare breathe a word about my daughter. Ooh, finally hit a nerve, huh? I swear, if you go near her, I will destroy you. Big talk. But just that. Any last words, Goisha? Let's. <laughs> will. That rodeo clown told you he ain't coming. Nobody is coming. Hello? Change the plans, darling. I need the prick alive. I'm kind of in the middle of killing him. Well, stop it. We need him alive to get some affairs in order. I will pay you more to spare him and bring him to us. <sighs> yes, ma'am. Glorious. Well, good news for you, Feathers. Your royal <sighs> says she don't want you dead no more. But she didn't say what condition you had to be in. I think these reds might be a pretty trophy. Can't have you seeing me again, can we? Hmm?
remember how easy you are to choke the life out of, little one. Oh, harder. We have to get him to a hospital. Oh, good. You guys actually managed to. Oh! Uh, sir, are you okay? Oh, Peachy. Yeah, no, today's been wonderful. What the fuck was that about? Stolas got hurt bad. Stolas got what? <laughs> Ow. He can get hurt? <laughs>